the book of Job, Eov, chapter 34, Elihu continued speaking, Hear my words, you sages. Listen to me, you who know so much. For the ear tests words, just as the palate tastes food. Let's choose for ourselves what is just. Let's decide among ourselves what is good. For Eov says, I am in the right, but God is denying me justice. Against justice I am considered a liar. My wound is mortal, though I committed no crime. Is there a man like Eov, who drinks in scoffing like water, who keeps company with evildoers and goes with wicked men, since he thinks it profits a person nothing to be in accord with God? So listen to me, you men with sense. Far be it from God to do anything wicked, for he pays people back for what they do and sees that each gets what his conduct deserves. It is certain that God does nothing wicked. Shaddai will not pervert justice. Did someone else put him in charge of the earth? Who else established the entire world? If he were to take back man's heart to himself, if he gathered to himself his spirit and breath, all flesh would instantly perish. Everyone would return to dust. If you have any sense, Eov, hear this. Listen to what I am saying. Should a hater of justice be in control? If you wouldn't tell a king you're a scoundrel, or nobles, you are wicked men, then you shouldn't condemn the just and mighty one, who is neither partial toward princes, nor favors the rich over the poor, since they are all, since they all are the work of his hands. They may die in a moment, in the middle of the night. The people are shaken and pass away. The mighty are removed without human hands, for he keeps watch on a person's ways. He sees his every step. There is no darkness, no death-like gloom where, e where wrongdoers can hide, for he doesn't give warning to people when they must appear before God in judgment. He shatters the mighty without needing to investigate and sets up others in their place. Therefore, Aware of what they are doing, he overturns them by night, and they are crushed. He strikes them as if they are common criminals in the open sight of others, because they turned away from following him and gave no thought to any of his ways, thereby bringing before him the cries of the poor, and he hears the cries of the oppressed. But if God is silent, who can accuse him? If he hides his face, who can see him? He may do this to nations and persons alike, so that godless men will not become kings, and the people will not be lured into traps. For has anyone said to God, I have been chastised without having offended. Teach me what I have failed to see, and if I have done wrong, I will do it no more. Must his rewards meet your approval? Well, you are the one who doesn't like them, so you, not I, should pick the alternative. Come, say what you think. Intelligent people will tell me. Every wise man who hears me will say, Eov is speaking without thinking. His words lack discernment. I wish Eov would be kept on trial forever, because he answers like wicked men. For now, to his sin, he adds rebellion. He mockingly claps his hands among us, and keeps adding to his words against God. End of Eov, chapter 34.